Hi guys, this is True here bringing you a quick play of Green Beret, which is also known as Rush and Attack in um, Japan. It's um, a 1985 arcade game. Can you believe it? Nearly 30 years old this is. And it's still pretty playable. The game was released by Konami, who were quite prolific in the 80s, releasing really good games as a rule. I mean, they did stuff like Hype Sports, Yiha Kung Fu, um, Mikey. Um, but yeah, this is one of the better ones. The original Japanese name for it really describes the the gameplay to a T really. You rush forward and you attack. Simple as that really. But um, when it got released over here um, we got more of a plot which was basically you're a Green Beret a United States Special Forces officer and you've got to get dropped into enemy territory to rescue some POWs who are going to be executed by a firing squad. Um, the game's only four levels long, but if you do manage to complete all four levels, you've done really, really well because this game is is pretty difficult. Um, surprisingly, as well, this arcade version is more forgiving than some of the home versions, which are absolutely nails. Um, first thing you'll notice, um, you only get dropped in with a knife. You know, I mean, did they want the mission to succeed? I don't think so. Not if they're giving you a bloody knife. Luckily you can pick up um, extra weapons from enemy enemy troops, I think it's the red, the reddish brownish enemy that drops the weapons, um, it does vary from level to level what weapon you do pick up, um, on this level it's a flamethrower. Now this is the first boss here, who has a van parts and it just um, spawns continuously enemies. Luckily most of the enemies just run towards you, there is a, a whitish colour enemy that you see there, he does jump when he gets near you and it's a bit of a pain in the ass to kill normally if you've just got your knife. Um, the first level there that you saw was the marshalling area and the second level is the harbour which you're going to see now. Third level is the airbase and the final level is the Siberian camp and um, once you complete all four levels you reset back to level one again on a harder difficulty level as if you needed it any harder. Now it's got converted to um, an awful lot of the home versions and I was first introduced to this game on the Spectrum. I think I got it on one of the many compilation packs that um, came out on the home systems um, around, you know, around that time. It used to get like a box set of games which were all linked together by a fame by a theme, usually the same publisher or maybe the same type of games like they were all driving games or all sport games, something like that. Um, but the, um, the Spectrum version, uh, whilst the good representation in the arcade, the difficulty was just ramped up enormously. I mean the, the enemies just never ended. They just spawned constantly to the point where it was just just ridiculous. So again, apologies for any beeps in the background, it's just um, me getting some emails. Um, now you see on this level here I've got the rocket launcher. Again, the special weapons just, uh, the, well they do look different, they all do pretty much the same thing, they just fire in a straight line and just plow through everything in front of them until they reach the end of the screen. Um, the only thing that does vary is um, the amount of ammunition you get. Um, also with the special weapons, if you do, um, oh you twat. I'm expecting him to jump there. Um, as with the special weapons, if you're going to pick up a second one, you may as well um, use up your remaining ammunition because you don't actually accumulate more than the maximum. So um, you are best uh, just to just to use what you've got there. And um, ideally, you need special weapon when you get to the bosses on each level because the, the bosses generally are tons of enemies thrown at you in one form or another. As you saw in the first level, it was just a truck that just um, spawned enemies for a while. Uh, this level, um, which I don't think I've ever got past um, playing it properly without any infinite life cheats, um, is um, guard dogs and the handlers. Um, the guard dogs run at you at various various heights. Um, the ones that run normally, you've got to um, duck down like I'm doing on the screen at the moment and stab and the ones that uh, run to you a bit faster they're kind of like bounding towards you so uh, a middle a, a middle height stab will 
take them out. Um, problem is they spawn from left and right, and you've got a, you've got a very split second to actually determine which height they're going to be at. So it's very tricky to do, and that's usually where you, you lose most of your lives. I think I'm coming up to the boss now, actually. You know when you get there, when the screen halts, yep, there we go. Yeah, there we go, dog. See, I, I, I got the wrong height there entirely. That should have been um, standing, standing stab. Luckily, it doesn't spawn you too far back at all. But, um, like I say, getting to these bosses without a special weapon, you're usually in for a very, very hard time. Um, I think I remember right, the, the um, bosses on the other levels. Um, actually, I can't remember now. I don't know the final guys are flame, flamethrowers. They've got the flamethrower you saw on level 1. Oh, that's an absolute pain in the ass. I'm very surprised if I kill these dogs, to be honest with you. But I mean, like I said at the start of the video, for 30 years old, it's still as playable as ever this. Yeah, you, will, you get a decent challenge, and with a bit of practice, you will be able to, you know, get this, get it nailed down and progress. Not sure how many times the game repeats, but um, the normal normal thing for these kind of games was to repeat about five, six times maybe to a maximum difficulty level. I mean, if you if you got that far, I mean, you obviously were very very good. This is my last life. This, I think I'll leave it here. If I die, there you go. Then mid height ones down low. Oh, but I didn't go down low. Right, I think I'll call that a day there guys because um, unfortunately you don't get any continues. Thanks very much for watching.